So step one is to open up my windows, get some sun inside. And then I move on to step two, which is typically going for a run or just a nice workout at home. Step three and the most important step is make coffee or else you won't be able to function. Step four is breakfast, which is oatmeal and you add some granola like that, like so. And step number whatever this is, is just to set up your agenda, look at what you've got going on for the day, and as well as set up your study space. So if you're at your desk, you know, clear the space out for your iPad, your notebook, whatever you need, or just make a little bit of room that fits everything. workspace is cleared off it's time to start the note-taking process first up on the list is creating a cute title page for my um, notes that I'll be taking um, this specific lecture was not a PowerPoint that was released it was specifically just a lecture video um, where he had a few pictures and stuff like that but nothing to necessarily um, annotate so I will be taking actual handwritten notes on my iPad Just a quick note that I am using Good Notes 5. Um, if you've watched my previous digital note taking video, I actually go more in depth on my note taking with Good Notes 5. So I'm starting with um, essentially adding in a picture that I screenshotted from my Mac of um, the current topic that we're going over right now so that I can annotate as we move on. being able to just screenshot and airdrop pictures that I want to annotate on my iPad. Um, I feel like it gives a lot of leeway with being able to take notes um, and not having to type right next to it, stuff like that. Just being able to use a different color and um, circle things, etc. 
And here's just a quick example of how I use the lasso tool. So I mistakenly wrote something where I wasn't supposed to. So I'm just lassoing it, copying it, and then I'm pasting it where it actually wanted. And then I go back and erase it where it wasn't supposed to be. Step 100 is to take a brain break, specifically get lost staring at the squirrels outside of your window. So now I've started basically the second half of lecture, which is technically a different topic. I'm just going more in depth on what we started in the beginning. So I create a cute little title for it. So this graph um, or diagram is actually the perfect example of why I love um, being able to annotate things on my iPad. Um, just being able to draw um, what I'm looking at in that specific color on my iPad and then being able to write next to it and etc. Um, typically I can't really do this when I'm taking notes on my laptop while well, yes I can you know draw a text box that just takes a lot longer than just being able to write on it. Um, and then when I print them out they look just amazing. The colors are great, still vibrant, everything versus me printing everything in black and white and then color coding it with highlighters and stuff. I'm done essentially if I decide to print this out. Alright, so once everything is completed, I essentially have this mini notebook of today's lecture notes. Um, I've annotated everything, I've highlighted everything, I use different colors that I want, um, I use screenshots that I like from the lecture and I add those in and annotate them as well, and that's it. So if I do want to print this, I'm it's easy, I just hook it up to my printer, print it, there's no need to go back and do anything else, and I'm ready to study.